Hey everybody, Heather from Aquagali. Uh, welcome back to my backyard guppy pond project. It's been a little slow going for the past few days uh, just because I didn't order as many pumps as I should have. I added a couple more ponds and I just didn't have enough equipment for what I wanted to do so I had to order more and that took a little while. So I finally got them in the mail the other day though and I am ready to go ahead and set them up and uh, get these ponds going so I can go ahead and finally get some fish in here. And uh, yeah. So here's the little pumps that I got off of Amazon. They're not super powerful, but they're just sold as uh, solar fountain pumps. And uh, they just come with this solar panel and a long cord. Now when you guys, if you do order these, you wanna make sure that you, um, before this hits any light at all, you wanna go ahead and detach this little piece here or else this pump is going to start running on its own dry and that's not good for it. So just be aware of that and uh, it looks like I actually got a uh, broken one, that's awesome. Each one of them also comes with a little pack of uh, fountain heads and different sprinkler heads, stuff like that. Um, and now these, they're not super powerful, but the problem is that when you put them on the water line, the hose spray is just way too high. It sprays all over the place and then I end up losing a lot of water. So what I thought about doing, since I have um, some half inch black irrigation hose, I'm going to get some of these, if I can open this with one hand, and kind of put this in the middle and uh, just use this valve to kind of adjust the flow so it won't spray as high. Uh, this is actually a lot bigger than I thought it would be, but um, hopefully this will work and won't be a complete catastrophe. So if you uh, see this video, then it means it wasn't a complete catastrophe. So when I add the, uh, the fountains to some of my ponds, I made these little risers out of some old uh, plant pots that came with some of my plants uh, that I got from Lowe's. And I went ahead and I um, cut a hole in here for the fish to swim through with, uh, with a carpet knife, uh, just because I really don't like wasted space. I really wanted the fish to be able to get in there just so it have just a little bit of space in there because the ponds aren't huge, so every little bit counts. And I used some um, black aquarium silicone, this stuff right here. And I went ahead and just kind of siliconed the rocks to the top of this, um, just because I've done this before and I've put uh, rocks, just set them on top of here. And anytime I go do maintenance or whatever on the pond, they just fall off and it drives me crazy. So this time I decided to just glue those suckers down. And what's gonna happen is I'm gonna go ahead and put the little pump right in there and it's got suction cups so it ought to stick decently and that ought to bring it close enough to the water line so when I add a fountain uh, it won't have to travel as far and it'll still maintain a little bit of power and hopefully it'll look cool when you uh, kind of look down on it I know it looks kind of tacky from the side but once it's underwater it won't look so bad look at this this is what I was talking about this is just way too high and it is just wasting a bunch of water so I'm sure you're all thinking, why don't I just take the fountain head off and just run it as kind of like a little bit of a bubbler? Mostly because uh, I live in the desert and it's gonna get really hot here. And the more air the water comes in contact and the more that it can drop onto the surface, the more evaporative cooling I'm gonna get and the, the cooler my ponds will be in the long run. And I also think it looks cool and I like the challenge of trying to fix it. So here's the before, let's see what happens when I try to make my own version. Do you hear that? You see that? It worked. So let me show you what I did. I'm pretty proud of myself. It's not rocket science, but it's just a little things that count, right? All right, so as you can see, it worked out pretty well. And please excuse these tubs. I know they're hideous, but uh, it is what it is, and I'm going to try to make them as, as attractive as possible uh, as this project moves forward. But for now, I really just wanted to focus on these fountains and getting the flow down. Now, before I found these fittings, I had stuck a piece of filter floss in the, um, in the piping here, and it worked really great to slow the flow down for about 10 minutes. Then it got clogged and stopped working altogether. So I just went on Amazon and just through searching, I found drip irrigation fittings. 
and that's where I found uh, these little valves here. So if that's what, if you're looking for something like that, that's where I got them. I don't know the vendor or anything, but if you search for drip irrigation fittings, you should find something like that. It works out really well. And uh, I like that these pumps come with a bunch of different little fountain heads of all kinds. So I can kind of mix it up in the future because I do get really bored with these and I like to change stuff a lot. So I was going to put pumps on these little gray tubs, but now I'm not really sure I want to keep them. I had originally planned on putting uh, cherry shrimp in there because I do have a lot of cherry shrimp in my ponds and in my tanks in my house. And uh, I thought it would be really cute and it probably would be, but it's pretty small. It's only eight gallons. It's gonna get real hot. I'm not sure if that's something that I want to deal with at this moment. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep them or not, but we'll see. Um, so I do have a few other plants just hanging around here in case anybody's interested. Uh, this is a strawberry plant. That is a jasmine that I got from Trader Joe's that may or may not make it. And this, this is a citronella plant. And supposedly it is supposed to repel mosquitoes. I'm not sure uh, if it actually will, but it's worth a shot. And it's kind of cool looking. So I was gonna put it down the ground, but I don't want my dogs to chew on it. And it looks kind of cool hanging here. So I just left it up there. And here are these, these are the pots or the ponds that I'm gonna work on first, just because well, honestly, they're the most attractive. They are the first ones I see when I kind of come around the corner from the backyard. And I really just want to make them look really, really nice, as nice as I can, uh, just because I really, obviously, I really like those. And how many times can I say really? <laughs> Anyways, uh, so I really like those a lot. Gosh, I said it again. Anyway, there they are, looking good, whatevs. Um, and here is another plant that I've got here um, for anybody that is interested. Uh, so these are all technically full sun plants and uh, they should be able to take the full summer sun here in, in Phoenix, which is pretty freaking intense. So we'll see how well they do. Um, this plant here in the back is Jasmine and then I've got lavender right here in the middle and this is sweet potato vine which should grow a lot more bushy and just kind of hang over the edge, which will look really nice. And I'm really looking forward to that. It's one of my favorite plants. That is a wrap, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Um, thank you to those that have subscribed already. Thank you if you will subscribe. Please like this video if you want to see more. Next time I will be posting on adding more plants and some dang fish to these ponds so I can get this thing started. And uh, everybody have a good one. Thank you so much.